Soft fairways, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. They don't have a lot of run. No. But perfect shot. Good Thank shape. You, sir. Again, the efficiency with the placement of these approach shots, judged on the no cut beyond this point signs, is quite impressive. Left myself just short, kind of five yards short, the front edge of the green. Right as intended, I kind of wanted to avoid that bunker, but I've left myself a kind of really tricky shot. All these humps and mounds are definitely in play, kind of depending on what shot I'm going to hit. If I try and bump it through them, I'm going to have to factor that in, but try and fly it. I've got this little backstop. So there are plus and minuses to this shot, and I'm honestly, I am no wiser as to how to play it, even having walked up here with the camera. But let's go and see how I get on. Tried to play a little bump and run with the nine in the end and threw it like twice as far as I was planning. That was just actually really struck nicely for once. Just so clumsy, it's unreal. And now I do not have the easiest two putt for a par, unfortunately. I was definitely right about that last hole being 18. This was 100% the first hole, the first time I came out here to Costa Marino. And it's a little bit unusual for this golf course to have a water hazard in play that's not that massive lake out there, which we're getting to in a minute. I think we've got par four here, beautiful hole, snaking around this lake towards the green, tucked nicely on a little plateau. And then you've got par five out towards the coast. And then I think we play the rest of the golf course along the coastline. Those holes are gonna be spectacular. As is the golf, right? Amazing, scenic, scenic golf course. The golf course and our golf as well. The golf we're playing is just... It's amazing. <laughs> Antoine is as good as bull**ing as I am. <laughs> I meant big bomb. <laughs> well shot. Wow. This guy is so strong. <laughs> the mythos beer is kicked in. Yeah, well done. Let's get another one. <laughs> Amazing shot. Right guys, about 330 yard par four. About 20 shots. We are obviously cutting the corner, but I was very happy with the strike on that one. That was a bomb. Sometimes you can just tell. The trouble is, my short game has been chipping with so pants. I've actually put myself in the worst possible situation here where I'm now chipping onto the bar for the green. Wow. Wow. The greens are so quick, we're having to factor in wind now as well. <laughs> it's a new one for a course in Europe for me. wind has really really picked up um, even affecting the putts now uh, I was a little bit confused as to why my little chip and run kept going and going and going I think it was actually being helped along by the wind um, so a few more holes going towards the coast 
and it's becoming very challenging. The greens are quick, pure as, by the way, the conditioning of the courses here at Costa Reno since the teed off on the first hole of the Dunes course yesterday, right the way through to the 15th here on the bay has been absolutely spot on. Bunkers are perfect. Greens are pure, quick, slopey, fun. And yeah, now the wind is joined the party and it's getting a little bit tricky. cranes and building works are by the way. The last time I came to Costa Reno there wasn't even a clubhouse here at the Bay Course. The destination was really in its infancy as a golf destination and they're planning two more two more courses <laughs> being designed by Jose Maria Olazabal to total four championship golf courses on site and they're building new clubhouses, new hotels, new facilities at each of the courses making Costa Navarino arguably when all is said and done and everything's finished considering the quality of the courses, the stunning location, the ease of travel here from lots of parts of Europe, flying into Kalamata Airport getting a 45 minute transfer here, the quality of the golf course, the accommodation options is going to be endless accommodation options. Currently they've got 700 rooms. They're going to have, I don't know how many by the time all the hotels are built. You could argue this is going to become the best golf destination in Europe. Matter of opinion, obviously, but I've seen my fair share of golf in Europe and this is right up there at the very top end and it's only going to get better. 2.45 left in, um, downwind and I'm happy with this, just kind of getting to the front bunkers. If I just hit a little ting, tinger, stinger too high, get a decent strike. If I get a really good one, I can get there for sure with that wind. Um, but the plan is just to get it up as close to the green as possible in the bunkers. Right guys, a little bit unfortunate there. The camber of the fairway is from right to left and that stinger was just drawing by like a yard. And if it had bounced on its trajectory, it would have definitely gone between the bunkers, rolled up onto the green. Maybe slightly over the back, it was absolutely motoring. It was a very nice little kind of six foot off the floor bullet stinger. But as I said before I hit the shot, I would be happy with it in that front bunker. Let's see if we can get up and down for a birdie. Haven't had any today. Come on, birdie me up. Right, slightly disappointed with the result. Definitely not disappointed with the execution. I think downwind and with the slopes running away from me, the slope in the bunker was slightly away from me too. That's arguably as close as I can get it from where I was. So happy with that. Two putts for a par. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You're not lucky. Very good try, sir. Right, despite the fact that the rest of the course we played so far is kind of nine and a half out of ten on the looks front, I think this is where the real sex appeal comes into play. Right, we've reached the 16th here on the Bay Course. Um, as I was just mentioning, there's been quite a lot of development going on building new hotels, clubhouses, etc. This All of this was not happening last time I was here, but just imagine when this is finished, what staying in a place like this is gonna be like with a golf course this close by. Yeah. Uh, next time I come, I think I might stay down here. Yeah, I think so, it's a good choice, yeah. If they make like, like an infinity pool here, it could be crazy. Perfect. So this is the bay. Yeah. The exactly. bay of the bay course. It's um, spectacular to say the least and some awesome holes coming up as well. Ah, that's fine, I might go for it. Very, you might not even reach the bunker, yeah. I'm pretty sure the last time I was on this hole I didn't reach this bunker either. <laughs> right, I've got a nightmare shot. Nightmare shot considering how I've been striking the chip shots. Up and over the bunker, no green to work with whatsoever. I think I may well be playing a bunker shot on my next go, guys. I was close to being good.
right guys, 17th hole. Um, it's hard to pick a signature hole here on the bay course because they're all absolute stunners. But this one, as you can see as I spin around, the tee is literally 15 yards from the edge of the water. Water running all the way at the right hand side of the hole. Unbelievable par four. And as I said earlier, for any keen viewers of Mark Crossfield's channel, will know this hole for one very, very good reason. A major, major incident. Right, Matt is in the hazard just. Do you want to just put your club over your ball, Matt? Because I can't, there, he's there. Um, it's a stinky lie, but he's got 140. 140, yeah. Down breeze, he's pumping a wedge from that lie. I think with a bounce, he could crush a dream here. This would, this, this could get Rory moaning. Oh yeah, get the right bounce. Is it on? Oh, he's get... he's get... go in! <laughs> Where it's gone in! <laughs> <laughs> he's on it! <laughs> Crush my dream! <laughs> it's a high hand here! That hand is high and he's touching! <laughs> Woo! He's on it! In the hole! Yes, please! You mother... Knuckleball! That's on it. Be good. That's got, oh, go. Be the number. Yeah. I it's think on it's the green. Okay. You might be pin high now, or? Yeah. It was a brave shot. Oh, to be honest with you, I was aiming middle of the green. Good <laughs> shot, good shot, dude. Oh, that was. Uh, there, there was something on the green, though. Uh, pitch mark. Ah, yeah. You swine. Because I saw it inside. You swine. That was classic golfer excuse, but I do it's think okay, that was okay going in. You sure? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'll take the part. Nice part. Right guys, as you can probably tell, with that pro tracer, that was a bit of a joke, the old Club 12. Just having a bit of fun on the last hole here. Um, I found myself in the left-hand trap. Got... I don't know, 110-ish yards. Uh, go away. What we got? 94 yards, so not the easiest of shots. Try and catch it a bit clean and middle of the green, stop it dead with a bit of spin kind of stuff. Thank you. Pick it up, sir. Okay. It was given. Thank you I think so it's much. time for some air con. Yes, it and was some really beer. cool. Yeah, thank you so much. Yes. Air conditioning, beer, food. Yeah. I perfect. think it's time to check perfect. out the clubhouse. Perfect. Yes, let's go. Let's, <laughs> let's have a lunch. We deserve it. <laughs> So another reason to visit Costa Navarino is unlike other more traditional golf resorts, Costa Navarino regards itself as more of a golf destination. And I think when the four courses and the four hotels can be on site, it's basically like a small country, like for lack of a better way of describing it. And what they're very good at at Costa Navarino, and this is a big plus point for me, is that they encourage you or at least support your need and want to go out and explore the local area. So a lot of places will obviously try and keep you on resort and try and get you spending money, putting money in their pockets. But these guys are more than happy to help you to go out and explore and discover this amazing local area in southern Greece. And tonight, they have let us come to a local house about a 20 minute drive from the main gates. And we're gonna get a cooking lesson from two born and bred locals in one of the most stunning locations. So you can see like this charming little house. Let's take you through and show you the, the uh, view out from their back balcony. Um, I don't know about you guys, but that definitely beats the view from my window at my house. 
Wow, wow, wow. Right, on the menu tonight we've got uh, zucchini pie, fresh pasta with Brewster, um, tzatziki. What else have we got? Well, we've got the Kalamata olives, which I've become a little bit too obsessed with since coming to Greece. These are ridiculous. Might as well grab another one while we're here. And we're also going to learn how to make a traditional Greek salad, proper old school traditional Greek food, taught by these local legends, made by us. We'll see what happens, but uh, this should be delicious. Looking forward to taking some new skills back home and learning a bit more about the Greek cuisine. We may have some wine as well.